In this video, we're going to start taking a look at events in jQuery. Now, if you haven't taken my JavaScript series, and I hope you have, you should go take the events part of that series because I talk about events and they're very similar in jQuery. They're just handled a little bit differently. Now, of course, events are what allow us to respond to users. So when the user does something, we can perform a particular action. And of course, we've been using events. We've been using the click method, which gives us the click event. But we're gonna look at different events in the next several videos. Now, it's a three-step process in jQuery. Very similar to JavaScript, by the way. We need to select the element that we want to attach the event to, and then we need to add our event. So if you look at this code that we used in the last video, the button, of course, is the element that we're selecting. We attach the click method, which gives us the click event, of course. And then we need to perform an action. And in this case, we removed the attribute. That's the action that we did. So let's take a look at a new jQuery method, and that, of course, is the mouse over method. And it is identical, of course, to the JavaScript mouse over event. It gives us that event. And let's actually work against the IMG element. So this first part, we need to select our element. And then let's actually uh, add the code for the action that we want to do. And what we're going to do is select all the paragraphs on our web page. And we're going to use the text method. Remember that? Let's start using some of the different methods that we've learned about. And we'll create the text all hail Julius Caesar. So when we mouse over Julius Caesar, all the rest of the paragraphs will have that text, all hail Julius Caesar. So let's go ahead and save this. And actually, let's go ahead and just reload our page. So I close that window out. And now keep an eye, when I hover over the image, all this text should change to all hail Julius Caesar. And it did, take a look at that. Now we'll talk about how to remove this or when we mouse off of it in the next video. Well, I, there's actually a different method we have to use, but for now, this will just always stay up here. Now let's do something a little bit different. Let's actually select the button and let's reselect the button. And what we're gonna do is change the color of the text in our button. So we'll use the CSS method, of course, for that. And I'm just gonna copy and paste what I have here. And in this case, what we're gonna do, you will remember that this is the property, that's the color property, and we're gonna change it to red. So we have two values that we need to set here. And we'll save this. Let's go ahead and reload our page. And there you can see, when we hovered over the button, the color changes to red. Now let's actually go ahead and put our image back here. So when we mouse over our image, we want something to happen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our last section here. So that is, of course, you should know this by now, hopefully, uh, pound right. So we'll select our last section. And what we're gonna do is use the append method. Remember that? I'm just gonna copy and paste this in here. So when we mouse over this image now, we will append a new paragraph. Remember, append just creates a new paragraph for us with text. Remember, it makes it the last element. So it should be the last element. So this will be like a message that we'll give back to the user when they hover over this image. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's save this. Let's go ahead and run this in Chrome. And when we hover over the image, look, we got our message. And if we keep hovering over it, we'll get more and more messages. And again, I will show you how to remove those in the next video. And uh, let's go ahead and close this out. And let's actually use the after method now. Remember that? And that will actually place it outside of our last section. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's run this in Chrome. And there you can see, when I hovered over it, it placed the message outside of our section which is what we wanted. So you can see how these different methods all work together with the different events. And you can really start to play around now with all the methods that you've learned. Start putting different methods in here and doing different things. That's what it's all about in jQuery, and it's very, very easy to use. 